Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing a bonus reading for you guys. You had the highest number of views in the last week, so I appreciate that guys so very much and I wanted to give you a bonus reading. All right, I am gonna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Cancer sign out there, so do take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. You can also check your other signs and placements, see if those readings resonate better. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and that's not unusual in a general reading. And as always, Cancer, please don't force yourself into a reading that's just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Cancer? All right. Cancer, you are starting out with judgment in the reverse. You have the King of Pentacles, and you have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so there's something here that's ending. Um, for some of you, it could be a long-term relationship, or it could also be um, a marriage for some of you. And I feel like you're done here. This has been a very painful experience for you, and it's a painful ending as well. Um, but it's like you've just had enough. You've called judgment on this and you're done. You're done and done. Now, that being said, I'm also seeing that there's something here or someone in your life that could be coming in that's going to be very stable. I feel like if so, you've already met this person. It came on the heels of this painful ending. I feel like this, this ending kind of drug out for a while. Um, but this is a very stable person. I'm also seeing that you guys are very much working on your money. Um, a lot of you may be working on your finances, your money, your career um, in order to kind of cope with this ending. It, you're pouring your energies into that area. But I do see that there's somebody here that is very stable that's offering commitment. Now let's see who is in your energy. Show me who is in the energy of Cancer. Somebody doesn't want to give up their their uh, energy very well. You can run, but you can't hide. Okay, so the person in your energy, we have the emperor in the reverse. We have the world. And coming out together is the Six of Pentacles reversed along with the Three of Cups reversed. Interesting energy. So, some of you could have been dealing, I believe it was Cancer that there was some information about there being a karmic or a false emperor. Um, if you are dealing with a divine partner, um, the masculine is not in their highest energy. Um, it could be a false or a karmic as well. But this person is very controlling. This is a very controlling person. I feel like they're not particularly faithful to the connection or haven't been. Um, and like I said, this feels like it has really drug out for a very long time. It's like this person will not exit your energy for some reason. Now, they have the world here. So this person could travel. Um, they could be a business owner or they could travel for their work. But I feel like they know that there's a cycle here that's ending. Um, with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse coming out with this Three of Cups, they're realizing that there's no reconciliation that's happening because they it hasn't been an equal relationship. They haven't contributed as much to the relationship as you perhaps did, which is why there's this very painful ending that's taking place here. So there's just been a, an absolute lack of balance and I do feel like this person is really unhappy right now. Let's see the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy between these two. This does not appear to be this um, new person who's coming into your life. This appears to be the person from the past. And there's this sense here that this whoever this is is not willing to release the energy for some reason. Yeah, Ten of Wands. There was a lot of problems. There's still a lot of problems between the two of you. I feel like um, it's it's become burdensome for you, Cancer. 
and they don't know how to move past this. I do feel like this is somebody that is just very weighed down. They're very overwhelmed. Um, but you found that this was the same. It was an overwhelming, you know, burdensome connection. And I feel like you've just said enough is enough. Magician in the reverse. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, an Aries um, is here as well. But you feel that this person may have been a bit manipulative in the way that they conducted themselves in this connection. I do feel like this person in your energy is frustrated because the things that they used to do in the past just don't work on you any longer. You've kind of leveled up your energy here, and I, I feel like they haven't. Um, they're still not offering you anything that is of substance. Um, they're very controlling, and I, I feel like they're in a, a lower vibration. Um, let me see the outcome. Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, you're not having anything to do with this person. And they know it. And they know that it's because they were not offering you anything of substance. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands. That's underlying energy here. And I do feel like it's a, a very defensive energy. It's, uh, you know, a sense of having to defend, defend oneself and defend someone's actions, you know? So... There's also this um, energy here, and I do have to point it out that, you know, and it may not be for everybody, but for some of you, you may have been holding on to this connection as well for a long time, but I'm seeing clearly that you're just done here. You're putting this to rest. Now, let me see, and it could be because you have met somebody who is offering you everything, you know? So, let me see why judgment is here. We have the Hierophant, Queen of Swords reversed, and the Eight of Cups reversed. Oof. So you've cut this person out. There is still some emotional ties, and that's what I'm seeing in the underlying energy as well. There's a, a bit of emotional tie still, but you have a, a commitment. It looks like you're moving into another commitment here for a lot of you. Now, for others of you, you could just be receiving um, some sort of advice or you could be leaning into your own spirituality here in order to deal with these residual emotions that are here. But your guard is definitely up with this person. I feel like you have cut them out of your life regardless. And you're not going back. You're not moving backwards. Um, I do feel like you may even be ignoring this person. Your back is turned to them and... Uh, your boundaries are high, high. Let's see why this King of Pentacles is here. I'm very curious. Okay, the Hermit in reverse. Yeah, and the Seven of the Seven of Swords reversed. So this person may have had their sights set on you. This King of Pentacles may have had their sights set on you for a while. Um, I do feel like you guys isolated for a, a while with regard to this connection, this relationship, as it was ending, you you kind of withdrew into yourself. You were trying to figure this out. How do I work out these problems? How do I get past this? I feel like you kind of went through this period where you just kind of withdrew from society, maybe weren't going out. It's at the point that you said, enough is enough, and I'm going to start dating. I'm going to start going out that somebody here, you met somebody. I feel like this person has big plans for you as well. I'm also feeling like you ghosted this person that's in your energy that's on this side. You ghosted this person from the past because you found out that they were being deceitful. There was something that wasn't, wasn't, uh, you know, they were lying, cheating, stealing something. There was something that you discovered here and you said, yeah, I'm done here. And, and I feel like you ghosted this person. I don't feel like you're having anything to do with them. They may be trying to come back into your energy, or at least they did. And you see them as being a manipulator. I don't feel like you have any intention of, of trying to create something with this person anymore. Although in the past, you very much wanted a commitment with them. So let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. Yeah, ten of coins. 
six of, co of coins reversed. That's in their energy. So once you experience this painful past, once you made this judgment call with regard to this p past person is when your 10 of coins came in. I definitely see... So for some of you, there's definitely somebody that's come into your energy, somebody that you met when you started going out again or perhaps at a an event of some sort, but it was this energy of going out, getting yourself back out into society, and then you met this person and, and there was just a, um, this person revealed that they do have feelings for you. There was something there. This is a, a connection that is going to actually really go someplace. This person's offering, you know, commitment. They're very stable. I do feel like for some of you, though, you it's not so much another person as you just have been working on yourself. You've been upping your game. You've been working on your finances, and it's really paying off. So for all of you, I see that your finances are doing really well. You're making some money here, and you're making yourself very stable, and it's actually been built off of the pain of this connection from this past person. So I, I do feel like you, you're you moving towards something greater, something better. And I don't feel like you're moving back towards that. It took a long time to get there. So let's look at this person's energy. Why is the emperor in reverse? Look at that. Five of Swords reversed. <laughs> They're in conflict. They don't know what they want. One day they want to um, end the conflicts with you. Other days they're just very irritable and not a very nice person. This this person I feel like deliberately caused problems in this connection. Um, they there could have been competition that they they tried to put you in competition with others, whether that was with family members, friends. Um, another another person um, with regard to love, but I feel like now they want to end that conflict, but there's they haven't really leveled up their energy, and they go back and forth about what it is that they want. Why is the world here? This person could travel. Why is the world here? The Empress. Mm. They're putting you on a pedestal. I do feel like they um, they feel like they could have could have had everything with you, but I, I'm also feeling like things didn't manifest because they either didn't express their emotions or if they did, you turned them down. But they do have you on a pedestal. They they're looking at you as being the Empress. Yeah, so I, if they haven't expressed themselves, they will. Um, I do feel like they're holding their emotions back right now. For a lot of you, this person did try to come back into your energy. And you said, uh-uh, no, this is over, this is done. Let's see uh, the bottom. They feel spurned. Show me the bottom energy. And that's why they're so unhappy as well. Five of Cups, yeah, they have regrets. The Lovers. And the Three of Wands. So this person's still in your energy because they regret the past. They they regret what they've done. They're unhappy. They're actually a little bit depressed. Um, they want love in their life. They want you in their life, to be specific. This is somebody who does feel that, you know, the two of you were guided together, that you were... You were supposed to be together. They may feel that you're a soulmate. Um, and they're kind of waiting. They're waiting to see, you know, if you will let your guard down. If you will come back to them. There's almost this sense that, you know, they know that they messed up here by not giving an equal give and take. I do feel like they tried to come back into your energy and you said no. But they feel that you're a soulmate and they're, gonna, they're waiting for you, actually. So that's, there. It, it's like I told you in the very beginning, I had this sense that this person was not letting go of your energy here. Show me um, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, we have the Chariot. 
and the Knight of Pentacles. This person was moving really slow, really slow. I do feel like um, they're still moving slow and it's because of the conflict that they feel. I don't know why they have so much conflict in, in their energy about leveling up, um, but they're moving very, very slow. They're still moving slow and that's the problem. That, that's the problem is they have all this conflict about whether or not <laughs> they want to level up. They believe that this is a divine connection. So if you're wondering if this person, you know, thinks that this is a divine connection or not, or that you're a soulmate, they do. They they could even be doing some research into this, looking into it. Um, with the chariot, though, I feel like you've cut this person out. You're moving on. You don't want these problems anymore. Now, they are still in your energy, and it's probably because they're holding on to you so, so tightly, you know, so firmly. Let's see why. We have the Magician in reverse. The World. Now, that's also in their energy. Queen of Wands reversed. And the Page of Wands reversed. All right, so... What's affecting the connection is that it is an end of a cycle here. So there's a cycle that is ending. And I do feel like you aren't having anything to do with this person. There's an indication that some of you feel that this person is just bad news. You're not speaking to this person. Um, I do feel like the last time you did speak to this person that you found out even more stuff that made you upset. Um, and I feel like you, you just feel like this person is bad news, that they're, they're manipulative, that, you know, you, you're done here. Wow. Your energy is really clear. It's really clearly an energy of, uh, I'm not dealing with this person any longer. So in their energy, they're not taking any action towards you. They have you up on a pedestal. They think about you a lot, but they're trying to... They're trying to end this cycle themselves, but they're having such a difficult time. A lot of it is because they've realized that they actually do have feelings for you, but they're not revealing those feelings. They definitely are passionate about you, and they know that there could have been a really beautiful connection between the two of you, but I feel like you're now choosing to go in another direction. It's like you've taken control of your own life here, Cancer, and you've just had enough of this person's back and forth. I don't know if I want this. Maybe I do want this. I feel like you're just over it. All right, we have the Two of Wands. We have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Aquarius is very strong. We have the star card in reverse and the wheel of fortune reversed. So I do think that this connection, at least for now, is over. Um, I do feel like you've been very honest with this person and you told them that there was just no balance in the connection. I do feel that you, you feel like this person is getting their karma that the ending of this connection is actually their karma for the way that they treated you, this unequal balance, that you gave and gave and they, they were not giving. So they know this, they realize this, and they have regrets here. I feel like you were very honest and upfront with this person. I don't feel like you were deceptive in any manner. You've been very clear. You've communicated very clearly with them as well. And I do feel like you, you're you either moving towards a period of prosperity cancer in your life financially, a, a, a large stability. There's a, a sense of family. There's a sense of financial stability. But I don't, I don't feel like you're moving back towards this person. And you feel that that is their karma. Living without you is their karma. Now, in this person's energy, they're waiting for you. They're waiting. They're making plans. They are, they're now choosing you even though they're not coming forward and expressing it. They're not taking action on it. And it's because they either fear that you won't accept them or you already have told them, no, this isn't going to happen. I do feel that they have a lot of regrets here. Um, I feel like they also feel that the two of you were supposed to be together. 
They know that there's been a lot of imbalance here. They're trying to heal. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place, actually, for both of you, but more so for this person in your energy. But I do feel like they're waiting for you. They feel that the two of you are supposed to be together. And if they wait long enough, that the two of you will be together. Bottom of the deck is the strength card in reverse. And I do feel like uh, that's underlying energy here. So this person is actually literally afraid to move towards you at this time. Um, I do feel that they're very defensive about past actions, but yet they sit in this regret. So they kind of go back and forth. They expend a lot of mental energy on you um, and on this connection and what happened in the past. Um, I feel like for you, you held on to this person cancer for quite some time. And then at a certain point, you were like, I'm done here. Yeah. And so you actually you know, feel as if moving back into this connection would, would be detrimental to you. And I do feel like you have a lot going on that's in your favor right now. So let's pull an Oracle card and see if there's further messages. Oh, look at that. Giving birth. So some of you could actually be pregnant. Um, but more so, I feel like for the majority of you, this is about giving birth to a new cycle, giving birth to a new connection, perhaps. Um, it says, I am bringing forth new and dynamic energy into the world. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that. Give me just a second. All right. It says, it's time to launch a new project. The ideas that have been gestating within you are ready to manifest. With attentive care and feeding, miracles can abound. The universe wants you to know, perhaps there is a quality, project, or talent within you that wants to be born. You have been nurturing and caring for it, and this is the perfect moment to share it with the world. Release it and let it soar. Give birth to your hopes and your dreams. Timing is everything, and the time is now. So here's a few questions you can ask yourself as well. It says, is there anything I've been putting off that I need to birth into my life? Is there something I've put forth that I regret or haven't acknowledged? And the last question is, am I ready to birth a new way of expressing myself in the world? Wow, that's powerful. And it really does suit your energy right now, too. I, I feel like you guys have a lot that's, you know, coming in. You're you're in a very good energy overall. I feel like you you've kind of released this and you're you are. You're giving birth to a brand new you. All right. I hope that this has been helpful for you guys. If you've resonated with this reading, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your regular readings. Namaste.